So comprehensive genomic profiling is a technique that really tells us a lot about a tumor in one single test. It combines information uh, that was previously only available by combining several different uh, single gene tests. The reason why we want a test like comprehensive genomic profiling is it represents the highest uh, standard of care that we can provide to our patients. So for us as pathologists, this is the best thing we can do from inside the laboratory uh, to help a patient on their cancer journey. It's also the best level of support that we can provide to our clinicians, like our, our medical oncologists or our surgeons who are taking care of these patients. Uh, prior to the widespread availability of, of techniques that provide comprehensive genomic profiling, we're really using single gene tests. And uh, these were, were great when that's all we had. And the issue though, and the problem with them, is that they provide a very limited amount of information. Uh, I look at these as if they're yes-no questions. Uh, so for instance, in a disease like lung cancer, we might want to ask, does this patient have an EGFR mutation? If the answer is yes, then they can go on to a targeted therapy uh, towards that particular mutation. But if the answer is no, then we have to ask another question. We have to ask, does this patient have an ALK fusion or does this patient have a ROS fusion? And each time, if the answer is no, we're no further ahead than we were before. And each time we ask a question, we lose a little bit of tissue. Eventually, the tissue will run out and we're not able to ask any further questions. With comprehensive genomic profiling, it's almost that right out of the gate, we can ask a different question that's open-ended. We can say, what is driving this tumor? When we have an answer to that question in hand, we're able to provide the most informed therapeutic decisions right out of the gate.